okay, I have so many things to do, so I'm just not gonna do anything at all. <laughs> so I work full time as a software engineer. I just got out of work and I was thinking to myself, why is coding so hard? Coding is so hard and it's harder for some people. It's easier for some others. The purpose of this video is to kind of like explain or talk about the psychology behind why coding seems so hard based on my experience and based on research. Put the power into your own hands to be like, okay, I know why coding is so hard. Here are some things I can do to improve my learning process to achieve my goal of learning how to write code. The biggest reason why coding is so hard is because there's just so much to learn especially if you're learning how to code on your own from things like syntax to learning how to debug to learning various tools learning problem solving and critical thinking skills right the learning curve for coding is so steep you get to a point where it begins to like slow down like slow down but the earlier stages of learning how to code is just so steep so it's very easy for you to give up so much to to learn and that can lead to like cognitive load and fear procrastination you're like okay i have so many things to do so i'm just not gonna do anything at all <laughs> that's how it is for most people that's how it was for me early on the biggest thing to do here is to like start small concentrate on doing one thing and getting good at it for example you're learning how to code python you might want to like start with like if statements first understand while loops or understand for loops start small concentrate on learning things bits by bits so you can't learn everything at once that's not how the human brain is built and we make fast that progress when we focus on one thing breaking things down into smaller bits and focusing on them would go a long way in helping you to like not give up or not feel overwhelmed by the cognitive load a lot of times we just have imposter syndrome where human beings uh we compare ourselves to other people a lot we look at our environment and be like okay this person can do this, why can't I do this? Maybe I'm not good enough. So imposter syndrome means self-doubts and like, you know, insecurities in your, in your own abilities and comparing yourself to other people. And this is like absolutely normal. It happens to everybody, even people who are like, who have been software engineers or coding for 10 years, sometimes still feel imposter syndrome. It's not the end of the world, you're not alone. My best advice for this is just focus on your own strengths and weaknesses rather than comparing yourself to other people. What am I good at? What do I suck at? What do I need to improve to get better at writing code? Once you can answer these questions for yourself, things will begin to get a lot better. Just focus on internal development and growth rather than like external uh, comparison. Find a mentor, find someone who, who you can look up to, who is just like you and has been through a similar path. Uh, follow content creators like me who make uh, tech content. Just like see people who you aspire to be like and try to get mentorship and advice from them to get over your own, your own like self, <laughs> essentially. You're not learning the right thing. You're starting from top instead of from bottom. You have to learn the basics first. It depends on what your goals are. But my advice is that like you can't start by building uh, the next uh, Google Maps when you haven't learned how to write uh, for a loop. You know, even though you have these big ideas, you have these great ideas, it's always better to like start by understanding the basics and get a solid foundation before proceeding to taking on like very, very big project. Also, in the coming weeks, I'm going to be uh, uploading a video about my journey to learning how to code over the past six years, how I would learn to code if I started over in 2024. So like you can have a guide as to what path you can take if you're starting to learn how to code. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for that video you don't have the right environment and community of people around you I'm not saying people around you are terrible <laughs> or anything it's just that we are our environment the things we do the habits we do on a day-to-day -day form who we are so if you're trying to learn how to code i suggest like you have another friend who's learning how to code or you have a mentor or you're in some group chats of people who are learning how to code or you're going for conferences and coding competitions you have to just like surround yourself with that community of people it just becomes a habit automatically right if not it's very easy for you to give up this is very uh, particular for people who are learning how to code by themselves 50 percent of people who, who learn how to code learn how to code in college and this is because like college provides a very structured environment for learning you have your mentors you have your teachers you have your tutors you have a very structured program and you paid for it so you have to just do it right but like if you're learning how to code by yourself it can be very difficult because you don't have all that like uh, community and environmental structures in place to motivate you so you kind of have to do it by yourself it's very important you surround yourself with the right community with the right friends insert yourself into that community and stay plugged in like you keep 
you keep learning. Overall, I would just like to highlight that practice is key. You learn how to code by writing code. <laughs> you learn how to swim by swimming. You learn how to run by running. Whatever it is, you have to just put in the work. You have to put in the hours. Every minute or every hour you spend, practicing will pay off it's also very important to like embrace failure you might be building a project and you're facing bugs after bugs and error message after error message and it can just feel very overwhelming you don't know where to start from just always remember start small start by taking a deep breath and just like trying to debug things step by step. It could be that you're applying for a job and you're getting so many rejections. It could be that you're applying for a college. Whatever it is, just try to embrace failure and learn from it rather than like saying, I'm terrible, I'm not good at this, I'm giving up. I'm gonna end it with my favorite quote from my favorite professor. <laughs> and that quote is, don't give up, keep putting in the work. Try to apply everything I said in this video and eventually you you'll be more confident in your programming skills. And also, if you have any advice for people who are learning how to code or for me, feel free to put them in the comment section below. Also, feel free to like share this video to your friends or uh, to whoever needs this inspiration or motivation. See you in my next video.